How do you know your gender? I knew I was not a boy or a man. I've never felt that way. I've always just identified as female. Do you see yourself as male, female, or somewhere in between? Growing up, I couldn't understand why people were putting the label on me that I was a girl. Because to me, I was just a boy. Try to put me in a dress, I'd start screaming. Yeah. <laughs> Millions of people around the world do not associate with the gender they were assigned at birth. There's parts of the body which shouldn't be there. My head has ne never really felt connected to my body. And they want to do something about it. In this film, we find out what it's really like to transition your gender and what happens biologically and psychologically through the eyes of the people who are living it. The first time when you go out as a woman is such an alien thing to do, but at the same time, it felt really right. I feel like I'm just now beginning my life at 25. Yes, what's that say? Testosterone, testosterone, testosterone. <laughs> We discover how science is trying to uncover the true nature of gender identity. What can we figure out about physiology, brain morphology, that um, helps us understand the formation of gender identity in anyone is a relatively new field of study. While at the same time, advances in modern medicine are helping people to transition to the gender they identify with. Some people sort of mistakenly think there's only one surgery you can have if you're transgender. <laughs> Oh my god. It's amazing what you can do with a scrotum. You're really very useful. I was probably about seven or eight years old when I realised that something wasn't quite right. But it took me a long, long time to really kind of put my finger on what that was. It was only when I was about 21 that I realised that I was trans and that I wanted to transition or needed to transition.